What's up guys, welcome back to the Webby Show YouTube channel. So you guys have been messaging me a bit lately and asking me to see the, the ins and outs of South Sea Skate Park. You want to see like the actual skate park like you know from my perspective. So today I'm gonna to walk you around the skate park. This is actually like you know it's my first proper skate park check where I'm gonna show you everything you know in depth because obviously you know this is my local skate park I've been riding here for years but before we get into that I want to actually give you just just a minute or so of someone who, who actually knows the history of the skate park Ephraim Catalo when did What's it up everybody when did it all start uh, South Sea Skate Park started as a roller rink in the 1920s and people used to meet up down here at the weekends and skate around the bandstand area but as a skate park 1978 hence South Sea 78 on the t-shirts. Sweet, and that was influenced by what? Uh, it started from the California skate parks like Pipeline and Del Mar and some places like that. And then like the trend came over here and you had like South Sea, Bromford, Livingston, Hara, I believe all were built at the same time. Yeah, that's why I went and wanted to go and see the Bromford skate park at that, yeah, uh, awesome. a while ago. So um, yeah, and since then it's been a, a progressive skate park for pro riders as well. So Such as yourself such as myself so cheers for that and i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> do you a go little, for it i'm gonna go do a little walk around yeah you go so the first thing i'm gonna start off with which i'm gonna show you a view from up here and then i'm gonna go down there and uh and show you around so the first thing i want to show you from the top of the vert ramp is the legendary mini ramp spine that i've been riding since since it was built i've not had a day where i haven't ro rode it other than when it was down and out for the count when it was sick for a period of time but we've got it back and running now and uh it's looking something long, like uh, something like this. That is, that's my baby down there. That's my mirror spine. Right, let's go and have a look. So go down these rusty upstairs, and this brings us to the to the mini ramp. This mini ramp has seen some action over the years, and it's pretty beat up too. So um, we've got little. I'd say two and a half foot sub box on here. Uh, it's a bit of damage in the, uh, in the old ramp here, but stuff's being taken care of as quick as it can. It's like um, it's like a it's like a massive bridge, you know. Like once you finish painting one end of it, you're back at the start again painting the other end. So it's a it's an ongoing thing constantly. We're always working on this thing. It's just there's not enough funds, and it's just yeah, it's just a bit haggard. But yeah, this is our. I reckon it's about five and a half foot mini ramp spine with the wall ride down there. So as you can see it's quite it's quite loose. But it's absolutely sick. Right, let's get on to the uh the next spot. Oh I'm back on the vert. So back from the top of the vert again, I'm gonna take you for a little view of the legendary bowls. So this is a part of the skate park that only Put it this way, a lot of Americans have come here, Scotty Kramer's boys all came here that time, and they had no idea that the concrete side of the park existed. They only thought it was like the ramps and stuff like that. So um here's a little look of the uh the 70s snake run and uh and all the rest of it. So this is what we call the um some people back in the day used to call it the light bulb. We say it looks like the toilet, it's been called the Satan's toilet. Um over the back here you got the snake run, obviously squiggly snake with like the head of it there which is the bowl and then this one here is the peanut bowl which people used to also call the kidney bowl we've had a new section over there by the Duffnell project um, where they knocked down the old like tight spoon bowl um, so yeah let's, um, let's go over there and I'll take you down the snake run so I'm back at the top of the concrete bowls now I was just filming from up there a second ago and now I've obviously teleported to here um, right here next to the boat ramp is the spine mini just so you get an idea of the layout of the park so here's the satan's toilet um, and this is the start of the snake run and over on this lane here it goes down to the old spoon bowl where the new section has been built so what i'll do is i'll i guess i'll walk you down the snake run like this so you can see comes around in this curve here this this bowl is this snake run is super difficult to ride now it snaps back around here and then you're coming down here and it goes all the way down to the bowl at the bottom and people ride down this section here drop in and jump out the bowl it's been used that for years this is one of my favorite little like half pipe sections if you like i think it rides really well uh yeah you come down here and you've got these turn around here 
this is where it comes obviously into the uh, the snake's head as such which is you know what we know as the jump ball so yeah now we're down here at the jump ball the vert ramps over there and the mini ramps over there so this is the new section the Duffnell project section um, this was originally a spoon bowl and now there's transfer lines from the bowl over into the to the section this is all new concrete so very dusty and slippery at the moment i'm sure skaters will love this little piece here with this curve um, we've got this little rail here this has all been just re rebuilt there right here you've got this little rail here little drop from this like little driveway looking piece and this is what we used to call the spoon bowl which is next to obviously the snake run and bowl and the peanut so i'm going to run you back up to the top of this one it's very simple got some like pretty much vert like quarter all the way down here and it just turns into a curve and into there so that's a dead simple dead simple bowl this one so what i'm going to do is we're back at the the jump bowl you've got spoon bowl jump bowl that's where i was filming from the top of the vert and just over here we've got the peanut bowl which like i said people call the kidney bowl or, what, or whatever so and this one yeah just very mellow little lips around the side you can gap over into the banks and everything over on this side there's a bank here with like a bubble on top of it so you can gap across these but this is the kidney bowl or the spit or the peanut if you if you want to call it that um real tight whippy transitions but you can jump out of here and then this takes you to probably the most iconic bowl in here really the uh the satan's toilet or or the um well you call this whatever you want like i just looked at it and think so it's deaf so but yeah right up there is where i started uh webby show three with the flare drop into this horrendous beast so yeah she is one hell of a bowl i've aired across this doorway before which is um which was a mission in its own so yeah this is another another piece that hasn't really been seen in videos and stuff so i'll take you up to the top of it and have another little look quick as you can see it is super super big as a beast and there's the extension that i flared off of back in the day god dude i do not miss doing that so i'm going to go back up to the top of the vert ramp so I'm back on top of the vert ramp so you can get a perspective of the park and the layout so the mini ramps over there this is the uh the satan's toilet the snake run the peanut like i showed you and then the part of the park that everybody seems to see on videos and know about this hip this driveway there's a hip through under there as you can see what i'm gonna do right now watch me absolutely wreck myself let's drop in this ginormous contest scaled vert ramp which um i don't really use ever uh it's gnarly so yeah let's not forget that we've got a huge contest scale vert ramp here ready for action if anyone wants to get involved but nevertheless let me get back to the park course which is what i'm interested in <laughs> right here we go that was scary right anyway so yeah over here let's start off with this first off three foot mini ramp underneath the old bandstand which everyone used to roller skate around back in the day like Ephraim said when park first started so we've got a four foot flat bank hip which is pretty sick over here i built this there was a rail there and it just didn't really work out of this bank so we made this like little jersey thing it's just solid it's built out of like just bits of metal and stuff like leftover stuff i just welded it up and made something to work there so that's pretty fun like in fact that's like one of my favorite things in it and then we've got this like three foot uh driveway got a ledge one side row up this side and along we've got flat bank hips each side of it like and that's perfect and then and this is kind of like this is a section that gets used for mini wheelers on saturday mornings um i think it's like 10 to 12 mini wheelers like i think maybe like six year olds or something like that, six and below so that's that's great that there's a kids session um get them started so they don't get run over straight away by you know bigger kids um this mini ramp again is another marvelous little mini ramp four foot also a, a big one for mini wheelers we do have a cafe which is which is good and then this is this is the what we call the the street course 
so which is um i guess it's called park course these days so i run up here first off we've got four foot hip right here then we got six, uh five foot quarter six foot quarter like joined together and then we got obviously six to the ten foot here uh, which makes a perfect perfect come out grind along and back in because there's a six foot quarter that side um, I did a lot of work on this to, to actually try and get it to ride right because it's, it's one of the oldest ramps in the whole park but yeah this is a this is an absolute beast you might see some people absolutely flying out of there um, yeah and then obviously like I said there's just two six foot each side so that's a treat coming over here to the middle section of the street park course whatever you want to call it we've got a real sketchy made up jump box we call it the spox it's the spine box i guess um which is kind of crazy because we have one there too but that is more like a spine i guess this one's got a slightly bigger deck on it it's like a three foot deck but yeah steep one side metal on the other side um the takeoff's real steep it's like a quarter pipe this is the fun obstacle the in and out this is brilliant jumping in jumping out got a flat bank driveway next to it and obviously then we got the mothership we got the uh the the decent sized jump box it's like one of the decent sized jump boxes that we got in the uk uh the scooter kids are really struggling down there and i want the park to be fair for everyone you know i want everyone to be able to ride it and they were struggling because it's like a full size like beastie box and the scooter kids just couldn't jump it and then they were they were abusing the deck so much doing fly outs i was like they need to get over this so they said they want to build a new landing because one side was actually made out of wood and one side was made out of metal due to the budget back in the day and what do you know they, they gave me some uh some time and some budget to do it and i made a nice rollover landing i know a lot of people don't really like the rollover landing but let me tell you they're scooter kids flying this thing now and they're using the park like the way right bmx riders use the park which is the main thing it's like if everyone uses the park in the same way the park flows if it doesn't you've got people just doing fly outs park doesn't flow so let's not forget this we got like little blocks with rails and everything all down here blocks on this side got a nice long grind, grind block grind ledge on this side like a like a h-rail style but with one side missing i guess then we've got a little up and down piece here and then just a little flat along here so those little uh tech street jibbers here and obviously you've seen this in many of my videos this is the uh this is what i call the best quarter pipe in it this was i think it worked out seven and a half foot i think in the end or like near on eight i think it was it was a really weird size we measured it i think it was almost eight foot but this thing is like this is my baby i love doing nines and stuff on this and obviously when there was the old condemned quarter pipe that was here back in the day i manualed out in where we show three managed it and front flipped off the end into this bank here uh which i need to land in the quarter but yeah let's not get off the subject bank to wall very old school setup up here We've got a quarter pipe, five foot. This one's a three foot. Uh, built this curve all right, it's a bit, it's a bit wobbly. Like everyone's just, you know, sort of chipped in and done a bit of work and tried to get it done. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, coming down here, we've got obviously the three foot and that's good to go around that way into there. You know, and then we've got the little step up box that I built. It's like an old beaten up spine. So we'd laid one side down here dropped it down made it mellower made it like uh, an uphill table on it and then this kicker down here and now we've made ourselves a nice little step up which is obviously awesomely fun to ride and this is what i meant about the the spox thing this is actually like a like a jump box landing on this side and this side's actually steep so but this side is like hella steep as well um whoever built the ramps back in the day made a couple of uh, big errors with uh, with a few things Obviously, obviously you see you got the your jump box radius that comes down and you got like inch bars on top of it and they so now that becomes the radius and they've run that all the way down and they've got to here and then they've just chucked that one inside the radius so it kind of goes flat here at the bottom so a little bit of love needs needs uh needs a little bit of attention that one so it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain but anyway this is our skate park so um i wanted to give you guys an in-depth run around it so um hopefully i can do a quick lap of the park on my bike and uh and then and then you'll have it first hand the whole a whole line on the skate park let me just have a little blast and then uh and then we'll we'll peace out uh, okay guys basically i'm gonna just do a lap of the whole park you know what i'm saying 
So we'll start off with the uh, with the mini ramp over here. So I'm gonna start off with the mini ramp, and then I'm gonna venture into the uh, concrete over there, um, hit a few of the bowls, um, come back out, and then work my way over to the park course and try and just give you like a little one laugh of the place, nothing too crazy, um, and it's windy. So all right, let's go in through the spine, five and a half foot mini ramp spine. Get up into this concrete. All right, so there we go. Right in the concrete. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down the snake run. Over into the Duffnel bit. Duffnel's new little project here. Down the bank. And then I'm gonna head around here. I'm gonna jump across the snake run. Like this. There's plenty of lines in the snake that you can do there, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to jump from the bowl to the peanut bowl. Like that. And then we're going to go to Satan's toilet. Ooh. And now, we're going to come around here. We're going to do a transfer from the peanut bowl into the park area into the six foot quarter jump box lip to spox lip spine to step up around the curve wall hung out a little bit spox to box six foot out of your ground if you want to call that a ground jump the box big quarter to five Roller to Spox Landing, six to nine, three to box, curveball, step down, in and out to bank, and we are done. And I am Tired. So guys, there you have it. Woo! That was a lap of South Skate Park and a skate park check. This is my local skate park. I rate it 10 out of 10. Still got bike nights on a Wednesday night. Bring yourself down there. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> More videos like this, you know what to do. Share my channel about, like, subscribe. Got on it, got a giveaway we're doing in a couple of days with uh, Entity Bike Shop, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, you know what to do. Spread the love. Peace out.